you, uh, uh, Laskan Korda, and, and thank you, Minister, for that. Uh, I suppose in an ideal world, I would like to table these amendments to Section 4, but because of the, the Kian Korda's ruling, I wasn't able to do that. So, in some senses, by placing them in this section of the bill, uh, it, it allows it to, at least, first of all, to have the debate, but also to go a step further. So, if I understand you right, your, your indirect answer to Deputy McGrath is, is there is nothing in the amendment that would breach state aid rules because under the uh, initial wording of that section as per uh, the legislation, what I'm proposing is permissible. Uh, uh, so first of all, in your response, I'd just like you to confirm explicitly uh, that providing, for example, lower interest rates, albeit at market rates or longer maturities, it, it wouldn't be in breach of state aid rules. My, my understanding is it wouldn't be, but I think that point of clarity would be very useful. But you see, the second thing is, is it's about what the government's intention is here. So the government's intention, as this uh, 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 loan facility has been presented, is to lend at potentially slightly higher commercial rates to builders uh, than they would get from the mainstream banking finance. But because it would be a larger portion of the overall loan, they wouldn't have to pursue the more expensive mezzanine finance, and therefore in the round, uh, uh, the, the cost might be a bit more competitive for them. Uh, and I suppose what we're proposing is something in addition to that. And that's the reason why we think there's a value in, in stipulating it in here. And again, I'll go back to the Rebuilding Ireland uh, uh, home loan because I think it's a good example. So a developer who has a viable project but wouldn't be able to, for example, borrow uh, uh, from a bank at 7%. Well, if he comes to HBFI under the current proposals, I understand them, you could be looking at an interest rate of about 8% on the mainstream loans. What we're looking for is for those builders who couldn't access that mainstream finance at 7%, uh, for them to have a, an offering here where they demonstrate they've been turned down from mainstream finance, but HBFI deems their project is viable, to provide them with a lower rate. So it's to establish the principle in the legislation of potentially two different rates of loans, a standard maybe 8% uh, uh, for one group of builders, but also something structured in a similar way to the Rebuilding Ireland Home Loan Scheme for those who've been turned down but still have viable projects to get something at a lower rate. You're saying that that's permissible already. Then surely my point is, well, why not accept the amendment? Because it makes that explicit as something HBFI could actually do. And that signals intent from government and from the Oireachtas as to the direction we'd like HBFI to go in. And on that basis, I'm still pressing the amendment.